Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the class of mathematics class 6. <clears throat> so today we are going to start our very last chapter of the textbook. That is the part of statistics. Basically, uh, in your exam you have to answer uh, statistics marks. That means, uh, maybe from 3 sets. Or like from two sets you have to answer one mandatory you have to answer one so this chapter is very much important for your exam like you must have to answer so in this chapter we are going to talk about information and data that means all things are related to uh, statistics so yes this is a very fun chapter like up to now I think we haven't studied about these things or you have studied but in here you are, you are going to learn many new concepts like uh, mean, median, mode and very new new terminologies. So yes you are going to have lots of fun uh, while uh, solving this chapter while learning these chapters. So these are very easy but in your exam it takes a bit more time to solve the set coming from information and data. So uh, I prefer you to answer this question at the very last of the whole thing, whole exam. Like uh, starting with algebra, arithmetic, you can uh, start with whatever you want. Uh, then you will uh, do uh, geometry and at the very last, I prefer you to do uh, statistics because there is a possibility to have some uh, imperfection or you might have done wrong, something wrong. So it actually takes a lot of time but if you do a little mistake then it will just kill the whole time it will just become a waste of time then you have to start from the beginning so so at the time you will see that you have lost lots of time so you will be puzzled and while others solving arithmetic algebra next you will be puzzled and confused and also nervous then it will be hard to complete the other stuff so yes please to uh, statistics at the very end anyways so uh, let's start the chapter so it's about information and data so we will start with the definition of information and data because these are two uh, terms so yes starting so firstly we will know what are we are going to learn from the whole chapter so it's the information and data that means we are going to be introduced with two new terms that is information and data then determine mean median mode of an arranged data that means we will know how to uh, determine mean median mode then draw a line diagram that means we are going to introduce ourselves with a new term that is line diagram as well then describe line diagram basically uh, in your CQ uh, you you will must get this line diagram as four marks and also finding out mean median or mode either two of them or one of them uh, like uh, find mean median mode. So you will get these two questions for 4 marks. It's actually 100% confirmed. So you have to learn the whole concept very, with very clear idea. So yes and for 2 marks you will just uh, get some definitions which I am going to describe now. So yes definition of like mean, median, mode. Uh, what is line diagram, what is information, what are the difference between information and data. So yeah, these are the basic things that you need to know uh, about this chapter. That is the question pattern uh, because this is a very new thing and you should have confusion uh, about the question pattern and structure. So I hope you are clear. I will later on uh, discuss more and more about that. So firstly, we will know the definitions. So starting from data, so what is data? So data is the name given to basis, basic facts and entities such as names and numbers. Data is raw and organized facts that need to be processed. Okay, <clears throat> so it's a very bookish 
uh, definition. I hope and I am sure you haven't understood anything uh, or you have very blurry con uh, concept about it. But um, I think you have learned a bit about in the ICT. So it's similar to ICT, the same data information. So we have already learned, like we have learned in ICT that data is basically is the name given to the basic facts and entities. That means entities as num names and numbers. Basically, data has no meaning itself. So it's a, uh, there is a very important thing: data has no meaning. Okay, these are actually some basic facts. And entities like I can say if I, I give you some data that some raw things like some disease like 23 Dolly then um, 56 if I just give you some uh, information like this actually 23 Dolly 56 has no meaning itself so if I say you like 23 Dolly 56 or Roman number like 11 is there any meaning it actually makes no sense we can't get anything out of just the just these things that means data is raw that means it's the raw and organized fact that need to be processed so we have to uh, have another component which is used to actually make the whole, the whole data to be processed when it will be processed it will give you a different meaning so we know that when data is processed in an organized way it actually falls in the category of information so from information uh, what we know what's given to someone who asks for background about something okay what's given to someone okay so i am a person i am giving someone so basically uh, here I have written 23. So what's given to some, someone who asks for background about something. Here the something is basically 23. So if I say 23 and then uh, Dolly. This is our something. And if I say the background like if I say Dolly is 23 years old. So here you can see by this statement we can get a processed and informative uh, thing like Dolly is 23 years old. Here our Dolly and 23 is a data or we can say data it's a plural form. So Dolly is 23 years old. From this sentence, we are getting a whole concept, a whole information about Dolly. But if I just say 23 and Dolly, it's just the data and it's the unorganized and not processed uh, thing. There was no background then, but when I just give someone the background or about the thing about Dolly and 23, we are getting a whole statement and whole processed something statement like thing. So we are getting information. So it's basically information. So we can say this is the information where Dolly 23 are piece of data. So it's all about information and data. So moving forward. We have the difference between data and information. So we can say uh, what is data. I am just going to write some difference because this will come as two marks. The like difference between data and information important for two marks. That is difference between data and information. So first of all. What do we mean by data? Data is the raw. Okay, I am not writing raw because I will write it as a uh, different 
uh, individual difference. So data is the is the fact or fact <coughs> fact about something. Then number three, data is unorganized. And needs to be processed. three or four um, differences like this then after this you will write you will give an example like uh, dolly is a uh, is 23 years old here dolly and 23 are datum because we are giving a specific number entities about something and then uh, the whole statement that dolly is 23 years old that means from here we are getting the information about the age of dolly also we are getting the name of a girl uh, so yes that actually give a different meaning to one person so yes by this you can just differentiate between data information then you will get full marks that means two up to so i hope you are clear